I'm Miss Candy Carter. I'm here from um, Keeping It Real with Miss Candy Carter. I have Young B here. Um, his name is Mr. Goodwin, known as Young B from YBI. And um, he did the DVD rolling a couple years ago. And give us some background information about rolling and what was rolling really about. I know that it was you and um, a gentleman <laughs> go by the name of um. R.D.? R.D., yes, yes. Okay, so what was Rowan about? Was was R.D. really a part of the grid or, or was that an act? Uh, he came on later on, but basically Rowan is about the state of Detroit and the plague of, of heroin and other drugs and how it has taken place in the black community. Uh, basically how it has destroyed so many families and children and basically the black male. You know, that was the main plan to destroy the black male. For us not to reproduce. And uh, basically, uh, Roland is about Young Boys Incorporated, which I'm an original member. Uh, we weren't a gang, we were more like a family or whatever, you know, uh, just some young guys with a dream who thought selling drugs was the way. Uh, I'm currently maybe out of maybe 80 to 90 guys. I'm is. Maybe 20 of us that are still alive today that can tell the story from outside of bars. And uh, so, how old are you, Mr. Goodwin? I'm 51 years old. 51 years old. Uh, I began running the streets at the age of 14. Uh, experienced most things that a guy would running up and down the alleys uh, in dope spots, uh, which is a dope house or whatever. Uh, experienced violence because where there's drugs, there's a murder. Uh, I've done uh, three prison terms for all violent things. Uh, How old were you when you did your first prison term? Um, I was 22. And how much time did you serve? Uh, I had a attempt a murder felony firearm um, with a little money and the right mouthpiece. I ended up with a four to ten. You know, and back back then in the penitentiary they had good time and stuff. I did two years. Praise our lot. Wow, that is our justice system. Yeah, uh, there's a lot of flaws in it. You know, well, it's just as well as an innocent man can be convicted, the guilty man can walk away. Um, so my question to you is, how, how does it make you feel to know that you and, you know, your crew are, I'm not going to say mainly responsible, but you guys played a, a part in the fall of Detroit? Yes, that's that's so the, true. The, the drugs and crack cocaine into the community. Um, I feel very bad about it today. Uh, I've experienced both sides of the drug game, as well as a dealer, as a user. Uh, neither side is pretty to me today. Uh, the life in the streets is you live day by day. You know everything you've obtained or all the money that you've gathered, you can lose it all in one day, in an instant, in the blink of an eye. You know, I see, you know, I had a motto when I was young that the working man was a sucker. It is today it proves me to be so wrong. Uh, you know, right now it's so hard for me to find a job. My body is all tore up from gunshot wounds and being hit with bats and fights and jumping out of windows, car accidents. You know, uh, Rolling. It's uh. Did you Bro have something you want to say, Miss yes. Jones? Yes, oh, no, brother. I, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I have another question for you. Now, you viewing the video um, today? If you view the video today, how would you feel about it? About the way that you were portrayed in the video? Uh, basically, I explained myself, you know, and a part I played in the organization and uh, I never really had a chance to say how I felt as a man today, you know, uh, I don't have the same beliefs. Uh, I follow Islam uh, as the best of my ability. I find it to be comforting and a, a guiding light for a better way of life. There's no part in Islam for the destruction of another man. It's for a brother to help another brother. And uh, in total belief in Allah. Uh, 
Okay, I have another question for you. Now, I know a short time ago you were um, in a process of undergoing a, a development where you were giving back to your community by talking to teenage boys. Yes. What, a, what was that all about? It was an organization sure called the Hearst Organization, a few other brothers uh, who were involved in YBI. Uh, one of them, uh, a, friend of, a very close friend of mine, Brian Hearst, she just said came home from doing 33 years for a uh, drug-related murder when he was a member of YBI. Formerly, he was a uh, young boy killer. There were many different sets of young boys. You know, uh, as far as uh, Young Boys Incorporated, Young Boy Killers, and then there's Bush Jones and them, them Dexter boys. But we're all young boys. And uh, So what was the program about? The, the program, we were mentoring to boys because we felt no one could give a better example on how to be a man except for a man that wasn't a man who found a way to be a man in a righteous way. So if we could explain to a, a youth uh, that was going a wayward way, on how to correct yourself and showing him what's wrong and all the things that we've been through from gunshot wounds to the death of, death of a best friend or a brother uh, to giving him an example of our life and our views from living them. You know, uh, a pastor can give you some pastors or preachers or evangelists, whatever, they can give you a lot of things from the book, but can he say it to you from his heart where he's been? You know, it's, it's really hard to receive that. But we, we feel that uh, it's a way of giving back, teaching a child a new way. Because we all, at one time, we would grab a young guy and show him the wrong way. Put a gun and some dope in his hand. This is what we do, you know, but not no more. New way of life. Okay, so Young B, now the next time I have you on... Mr. Goodwin, young, young B died in the streets. Okay, that's what I'm talking about, Mr. Goodwin. <laughs> Now, the next time I have you on, are we going to have a, a location and a date where we can invite and empower these young men to come uh, yes, so they can uh, hear your story? Because a lot of young men view the, the Roland DVD and think that that is the American dream and think that, oh, I want to be like Young B and I'm going to start my own. Uh -huh. So, uh, we're, we're currently like? working on uh, a conference room in Wayne State. Uh, the meetings would be at 9 o'clock at night on Wednesday and Thursday night. Uh, everyone's welcome, you know, parents, you know, come see what we're doing. It's positive energy in the room. Praise Allah. Okay, well, thanks for having you, Young B. Thank I'm you all. Robert Goodwin, I'm sorry. Brother Goodwin, thank you for coming out. Thank you. And this will not pleasure. be our last session with you. You'll be able to explore more into your history and where you're going. Um, if you would like to schedule an appointment for Brother Goodwin, then leave your information on YouTube. Thank you and have a blessed night.